If you saw my video about the Sigma palette being on sale for $29, it's the Sigma Ambiance Collection Eye Palette and I 1000% recommend that this is a palette that you have because you will use it constantly, you will love it. First of all, I'm going to take, um, I'm going to do like a quick smoky eye to show you how a smoky eye can be easy. Um, the shade Basque, which is a warm brown, I'm going to take that on an e.l.f. brush and this is just a fluffy crease brush and I'm doing this as always back and forth windshield wiper motions in the crease as you can see these shadows blend like a dream let me get the other eye done so you're gonna look like this you can wing it out if you want to bring this up and be more dramatic cat eye do what you please now I'm taking a black rimmel eyeliner and this isn't sharp and I don't know where my sharpener is so I'm gonna scrape the hell out of my eye hopefully not you just draw a little bit on there on your free blinking lid your mobile lid whatever you whatever you call it and we're simply blending this and this will set so you got to work a little bit fast but what we want to do is get it from the tear duct to the edge and up to the crease but not high into the crease you want it to be right in the fold of the crease if you don't have a crease and you have hooded eyes then you'd be bringing it a little higher do it with your eyes open if you have a hooded eye that way you can see how high it is with your eyes open now it did mix with my eye primer which is a complexion shade of mine so it does look a little bit bluish right now it doesn't matter you just want a dark base because we're putting a color over this you can also do this with eyeshadow but it's going to be a lot messier using black it's a lot easier to just use an eyeliner or a black base if you have a black base before I sweep the lid color on, I'm taking that same brown that we put in the crease, that Basque shade, and I'm stamping it under my lash line and blending it out as smoky as I want it. I'm taking this reddish brown burnish color, which is a shimmer. I did put black gel in my waterline. Now I'm going to take burnish and I'm going to sweep that over the black. Anytime you put a color over a black base, it is going to show you the true color of the shade. And it'll make a night and day difference for you. I can't get in there nice and tight with my fingers, so i got to use a tiny brush. Now I'm going to do a highlight here and here. Lips, lashes, and mascara. Hope you enjoyed.